Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do a very quick tutorial to show you how to install and use your own custom fonts with Canva. So the first thing you need to do obviously is download your font. Um, there's a number of websites you can purchase commercial fonts from. Um, I'm going to uh, use one from my own website called Simple Serenity. Um, which I, you can see down in the corner of uh, my web browser here, I've already downloaded. Um, so fonts will usually come in a zip format, which is a compressed folder. So I'm gonna drag this onto my desktop. Um, your download can sometimes go into maybe a downloads folder, um, wherever you've assigned your downloads to, to go. So uh, if you're uploading the font to Canva, um, so Canva won't accept this uh, zip folder, so if I try and directly upload that um, it won't work so we can use TTF or OTF font files with Canva um, and those are inside this zip folder um, if you download a TTF or an OTF file directly that's fine you can upload it straight away if you download a zip folder uh, you can just right click on it and um, click on open I think on a Windows you might need to right click and choose extract uh, so you can see the folder here um, now has the OTF and the TTF font files. Um, there's no real difference between these two formats so um, whichever one uh, you have you can use with Canva. So when you log into Canva um, you'll see on the left hand side there's a section called brand kit so click on this and then um, over here we can add our own fonts so you just click on upload a font and then you head to wherever your font was downloaded. Mine was on the desktop, so I'm gonna open my folder for Simple Serenity, open the TTF folder, and then select both of the fonts here. Um, so there's a little message here, just uh, to confirm that you have um, the correct licensing to use the font commercially. If you're unsure about that, just um, head back to where you downloaded the font from, and it should say somewhere on the font page, um, or you can always contact the designer of the font just to make sure you're covered for uh, your intended use. So you can click on upload. And here we can see the two fonts have appeared in this section. Uh, and that really is it guys. So when you go to create a design, um, if you click on the text tool on the left hand side and then choose the heading that you would like and then from the drop down menu for the fonts uh, your uploaded fonts should appear right at the top and you're ready to go and type away. So as you can see it's pretty straightforward but if you run into any trouble if you have any questions feel free to get in touch you can leave a comment on the video or get in touch with me through my website Set Sail Studios uh, and I will see you guys later.